And we are back. New this morning, controversy with the TSA and its proposed policy to allow small knives back on airplanes. That's something we haven't seen since September 11th of the terrorist attacks back in 2001. And now the agency says it's looking at bringing them or allowing them back onto flights. Crown Force Will Tran is at SFO this morning to explain why TSA agents are no longer going to be focusing on those small knives. Will? Well, the reason why they want to bring the knives back is because they believe that their screeners could spend time, better time, looking at possible bombs and possible suspects and the knives they don't think are significant threats to the traveling community out there. Now, let me give you the dimensions of the knives that they're talking about, about two and a half inches long, half an inch wide. So here's a knife here and a little quick uh, measuring. This is two and a half inches and half an inch wide from this point here. So this is basically the knife that they want to allow back onto the planes. And here's a video that we got uh, throughout the years as far as the TSA screeners looking at that. For years, they've been making people dump out the knives. They've confiscated it, but they believe at this point now, especially with the knife, lo knife lobbyists out there, that they believe this is just not worth the time anymore, especially since it's about 12 years since 9-11. There are better things for their screeners to do, especially with so many people complaining that the lines are growing longer and longer and with the furloughs going on out there with uh, additional help needed to let the passengers move faster through the security checkpoints. Joining me now is Joshua Arce. You're about to hop on a plane this morning. If you knew this knife was going to be on the plane with you, what are your thoughts? I'd be a lot less relaxed. Really surprised to find the knives are be coming back onto the planes. A lot of people are saying, wait a minute, you don't allow shampoo to be on the plane and other liquids of certain sizes, but this is allowed. Do you see why the TSA is saying bombs can bring down a plane instantaneously, there are other suspects that they should be looking for, that this slows down the screening process? I fly on a lot of planes and I really don't see folks with knives slowing down the process. I think folks know that if you got to carry a knife like that, you just don't get on a plane. If you saw somebody sitting next to you with a knife like this, would it make you feel comfortable? Because TSA, if this is implemented, which could happen Memorial Day, how would that make you feel while you're sitting on the plane? I'm not going to be able to sleep, i got to tell you that. I hope it doesn't happen, to be honest with you. Okay, thank you so much. And Joshua, leaving from SFO, of course, and SFO, SFO is significant is because two of the four hijacked planes on 9-11, two of those planes were headed to SFO. We will get more reaction from travelers throughout the morning. Back to you, James. All right, thank you much. I'm sure this decision is going to cause a lot of debate among the flying public. Darian.